Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing Wit and Wisdom. We are combining three lessons today, eight, nine, and 10, and we will be talking about feelings with Gilberto. So we're gonna be using this text, Gilberto and the Wind, and how he feels about things. So let's get started with our video. Hello, first grade friends, and welcome back to Wit and Wisdom in Sync. My name is Tanisha Spears, and I'm excited to jump into our lesson for today. But before we do, let's make sure you have your materials ready. For this lesson, you will need your Wit and Wisdom in Sync journal and a pencil. Pause the video now if you need to gather your materials. In previous work, you had an opportunity to make observations and ask questions about the text Gilberto and the Wind. And you also used the outside in strategy to figure out the meaning of a word. Today, we're going to get back into Gilberto and the Wind, and we're going to think about the problems in the text. The question that we'll frame our learning for today is what is happening in this text? So today you're going to look more closely at some of the problems that are happening in the story, Gilberto and the Wind. At the end of this module, you're going to write a story about a character who has a problem with the wind. And in order to prepare you for this task, you are going to review and learn more about the elements of a story. Remember, the problem in the story is the main character's challenge. And the problem is something difficult in the story that the main character has to deal with. Now, since you've learned about story elements in module one, I need you to help add the rest of the definitions to the narrative writing anchor chart that you see on the screen. This chart is going to help you remember to include the story elements in your very own stories. Let's take a moment to review the elements. Setting, characters, problem, resolution. Now I'm going to read a definition of one of the elements and your job is going to be to point gently now to the screen to show which element I am describing. Are you ready? Let's try. Which element tells who the story is about? Point to it gently on the screen. Did you point to the characters? Because characters are who the story is about. Are you ready for the next one? Point to the story element that tells when and where the story takes place. Point to the element that tells when and where the story takes place. Did you point to the setting? I bet you did, because the setting is when and where the story takes place. There is only one element left on our chart, the resolution. Do you remember what a resolution is. Hmm. If you do, tell your learning partner or just say it aloud. Did you remember that the resolution is how the problem gets solved? I'm sure you did. So now the story elements are setting, characters, problem, and resolution. And now that we've reviewed all of the story elements, let's take a closer look at some of the problems meaning the challenges that the main character faces in Gilberto and the Wind. In the text, Gilberto and the Wind, Gilberto has more than one problem with the wind. First, I'll reread some pages and identify the problem on those pages. Then we'll identify another problem together. And finally, you'll identify a problem on your own. Listen as I reread a few pages. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air, but then with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of a tree. Wind, oh wind, I say. Blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers, you. So let me think about the problem. The problem is that the wind has blown Gilberto's balloon high in the tree. Let's try one together. Listen as I read these pages and think about what problem Gilberto is having with the wind. And wind loves umbrellas. 
Once when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me, and when he couldn't, he broke it. Now think, what problem is Gilberto having? What did the wind do? If you need help, the illustrations on these pages can give you a clue. Think. Now tell your learning partner what you think the problem is or just say it aloud. Did you say that the problem is that the wind tried to take away Gilberto's umbrella and it broke? <laughs> Poor Gilberto. Now it's your turn. Listen as I read these pages and think about what problem Gilberto is having with the wind. But when I have a kite, wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind, oh wind, I say, I don't like you today. What problem is Gilberto having with the wind? Pause the video now and record your response. If you need to, pause the video to take a moment to stretch or take a quick break. When you're done, unpause the video. Welcome back, friends. You've had an opportunity to identify problems in the text Gilberto and the Wind, and now we're going to think about this question. How does writing a problem work? So today, you will write about a problem using an illustration from Gilberto and the Wind. To think about how writing a problem works, let's get back into the text. Poor Gilberto, he keeps having problems in this story. Listen while I read about another one. When the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile, but then wind comes along, and just to show that he can sweep without a broom, wind scatters the leaves all about again, and he blows the dirt in my face. And remember, I said that today you're going to learn about how to write a problem. And I'm going to use the pictures on the slide and show you how to write the beginning of a story about the problem Gilberto has. And then you will write one of your own. Are you ready? Here we go. I know that good stories have a character and a setting. And I see from this illustration that Gilberto will be the main character of my story and the setting is outside. So I am going to put that into my first sentence. Gilberto was outside. But hmm, I think I should tell a little bit more about what Gilberto is doing in the picture. So I'll write, Gilberto was outside raking leaves. Now, I need to tell about the problem. It looks like the wind is blowing the leaves right into his face. So I'm going to write, the wind blew the leaves in his face. But it feels like the story needs an ending. So I'm going to add poor Gilberto. Let's read what I've written to see how it sounds. Gilberto was outside raking leaves. The wind blew the leaves in his face. Poor Gilberto. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that sounds pretty good. I wrote about the picture and I have a character, a setting, and a problem. Now it's your turn. Turn to a clean page in your journal. Now first, look at the picture and think about these questions. Who is the main character? What is the setting? And what is Gilberto doing? And you can use the sentence frame you see on the screen to help you write. When you're ready, Pause the video and use the sentence frame Gilberto was to write the first sentence of your story. Okay, I am going to take it back just a little bit so we can write that frame down, okay? And that way it's paused there for a moment. So I'm gonna write that on my whiteboard. So let me get my whiteboard and marker. That way we have it down on our board. I know you can't see that very well. I'll bring it down right here so you can see my board. So we're going to put Gil 
Berto was what? What was he doing? He was outside trying to fly a kite, right? Was outside trying to fly a kite, period. Great. Okay, so let's move on. Mm hmm. Okay, so what did the wind do with his kite? He just dropped it, didn't he? The wind dropped his kite. The wind dropped his kite and broke it. Period. Okay. And then she said we could add that last sentence. Poor Gilberto. Okay. Did you write your first sentence? Great. Now, let's look at the picture that shows Gilberto's problem. What is Gilberto's problem? What did the wind do? Now, you can use this sentence frame to help you write the wind. Mm. And if you want to add an ending like I did, you can copy this sentence. Poor Gilberto at the end of your story. When you are ready, pause the video and use the sentence frame to write the rest of your story. Did you write? I'm sure you did. Let's check to make sure you have all the important elements in your story. When you hear me call out a story element, find it in your own story and point to it on the page. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you include a character, a setting? How about a problem? Now, I want you to read your story one more time, and I want you to add in any of the elements that are missing and fix any mistakes that you notice. All right, awesome first graders. Nice job identifying story elements and thinking about the problems in Gilberto and the Wind, as well as learning how to write problems. Next time, we'll continue reading Gilberto and the Wind, but until then, be kind and do something great because you are capable of greatness. Yes. Yes. Character Gilberto. Yep, outside. Yep, trying to fly a kite, but the wind dropped it. Okay, so let's read our story. Gilberto was outside trying to fly a kite. The wind dropped his kite and broke it. 
poor Gilberto. All right. So you should have that copied on your paper. Let me get back up here so you can see me. All right, so we're going to pause, escape. Now let's go on up since we're on this page, we're going to go into our Gilberto and the Wind fluency homework. All right, let's read it. It says Gilberto in the Wind, Marie Hall Etz. I hear wind whispering at the door. Mm. He whispers. So I get my balloon and I run out to play. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. But then with a jerk, he grabs it away. Blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers. Phew. All right. So. going to stop sharing. All right, my friends, that is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you turn your writing in to me. Thank you. You all have a wonderful day.